Surprise with us now that former British opposition leader. Uh, I would say one of the world's best debaters, by the way. He doesn't like to brag about that, but there are some vintage ones if you ever want to go on YouTube or our Fox business site where he just, you don't want to argue with him, all right? Uh, Nigel, very good to see you. Very good to see you. Thank you. All right, you've been here. You've been seeing this, and I'm wondering yeah. how how you think this all goes down. It, it could be like a professional wrestling event. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be pretty ugly tomorrow. And I, I guess the sad thing is the, the big policy stuff. You know, the extent to which big businesses and big banks have been taking us in a direction that's been bad for ordinary people, that kind of goes down the agenda a bit. And this becomes about personality. You know, are, these, are either of these two fit to be president? Now, now in Britain, when you've had elections like that mm -hmm. or, or dust-ups in the middle of the campaign, your campaign season is blessedly shorter yeah. than our own. How is it handled? What happens? Well, I mean, I remember the Deputy Prime Minister um, right. under Tony Blair punching a member of the public in the face. I mean, we've seen all sorts of extraordinary, well, that guy had it coming. I mean, well, <laughs> extraordinary things that, right. we, that we've seen happen. Look, this is, um, this is alpha male boasting. Uh, it's the kind of thing, if we're being honest, that men do. They sit around and have a drink, and they talk like this. And by the way, quite a lot of women say things amongst themselves that they would not want to see on Fox News or the front page of newspapers. I'm not pretending it's good. It's ugly. It is ugly. Uh, but I would just say But this. he was about 60 years old at the time. Yeah, well, <laughs> and some people will joke about that in a positive right, right. way. Look, but do I, you think know, now women are hearing this in the fear yeah. of feel is he's already had a tough time with female voters. Yep. Uh, this is not going to help, but the, um, but what do you make of this sort of quiet push? We're talking to our Charlie Gasparino about it, where they're getting so alarmed and that he could hurt the yes. party's chances in oh. the House and the Senate. Hey, dump the guy. Easier said than done. Uh, there are going to be Republican candidates running for the hills, disowning him. Uh, this is what happens in politics. Uh, people look after their, their own interests ahead of the collective good of the party. Look, it's not good, but I tell you what, there's a whole host of stories coming out about Hillary. Not to mention, Bill, when we yeah. talk about sexual impropriety. So I, I, well, I honestly that's think one of the angles that Donald Trump might take the poll, where he says, I talked like this, he acted mm. on it. Um, wow. I don't know if that helps the case. It just makes it a sort of debate. Right? Yeah, and that's what it's going to be tomorrow. He is going to yeah. say, he's going to say, hey, Hillary, you know, you know all about men behaving badly, don't you? Um, <laughs> and then it goes down. And then it goes, and then it goes, so, I mean, I, if, if I were Trump going into this tomorrow, uh, I would say, hands up, you know, I behaved in a very alpha male, boorish way. I apologize. Uh, but hey, let's talk about the real issues. Let's talk about America's place in the world. Let's talk about security. Let's talk about people's incomes. Let's talk about manufacturing industry. I think Trump needs to get this, if he possibly can tomorrow, back onto the issues. And when he talks about the issues, there are millions of people out there in America who haven't voted for years, who were talking to each other and saying, hey, this guy is saying what we're saying. You know, it's interesting. I talked to some uh, R Republicans who are saying he should embrace the, flat, the fact that he's a rogue. I uh, said, you know what you're going to get. Um, he said, with Hillary Clinton, you don't know what you're going to get. She, she rails against trade deals in public, but in private, especially yeah. when there's released emails, she's quite supportive of open and unfettered trade. Uh, she rails against the investment community and big brokerage houses. Uh, in private with them, it's sort of with a wink and an eye. She says, I love you guys. I'm paraphrasing you. But they get, mm. I, the, the, this strategist was saying, pound her inconsistencies, not what you're known for. Well, at least there's an honesty about Trump. Whether you like it or not, he is what he is. And you yeah. know what? He's not running to be pope. He's running to be president of the USA, a human being. Every human being is flawed. And if his flaws are all out there, and if the public have suspicions that we haven't heard all of Hillary's, in a week's time, this may not look as bad as it does this morning. Do you think going forward, this is a little touchy-feely question here. Uh, I'm always amazed stuff that comes out during campaign. Microphones that mm. were around years earlier. Of course, mm. Mitt Romney found that out four years ago with the famous 47 percent remark of Hillary Clinton and, and remarks that were caught on tape in which she berated uh, Bernie Sanders supporters. I guess you should always be aware there's a mic. Well, I've been through it. I mean, I, you know, I've been through a Brexit campaign right. uh, where I've been accused of far worse things than Donald Trump is being accused of this morning. It's politics. It's rough.